What's up guys, it's Joe and I'm the Rave Tour Guide and in today's vlog we're going to Las Vegas to meet up with my brother and my sister. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and all these places we're going to go check out, you're going to definitely want to check out while you're here for EDC Las Vegas 2024. Let's go. Play some house, you were DJ. vlog i just finished walking through eddie's world getting my steps in and really just moving my legs after this this halfway mark all right guys we made it to the north las vegas premium outlets definitely a really good place to come if you're gonna do some shopping before edc some last minute outfits or maybe just some uh, swimsuit wear for when you get to your hotel I'm gonna walk around here until I find my brother. All right, let's check it out. Here at Box Lunch, you can find a bunch of different bag charms that you can hook on to candy, hydration packs, fanny packs, and more. You could even gift them to your rave bestie. And if you're looking for last minute tees for your outfits, there's a cool selection here. All right, enough shopping. Let's go get some lunch at the Arts District. We're gonna go to Taco Terran, a plant-based taco shop. Here I had a Baja taco, which had fried avocado and some toppings, as well as their fish taco, which had a mango salsa and a breaded filet. What's up vlog, I'm with my brother and my sister. We just had vegetarian tacos. Yes, and now we're on our way to Fountain Blue. Let's go. If you enjoy beautiful casinos, you have to check out the Fountain Blue. It's a brand new hotel, which is also home to the Live nightclub featuring Calvin Harris and John Summit. And the food hall here is extravagant and high-end. For my second lunch, I'm getting capons. We are here at the Fountain Blue and we are getting some food. I ordered uh, Capone's burgers at the Smoke Show and some onion rings, can't wait to try it. Man. I ordered the Smoke Show burger and it was scrumptious. I really enjoy the crunch from the onion straws, the sweet and saltiness from the bacon jam, and the richness from Capon's custom beef blend. 10 out of 10 would recommend Capon's for your pre-EDC lunch. DJ, oh. Finally made it here to the MGM Grand in my studio room here. If you're coming here for EDC, this is going to be probably a good amount of size and space for you and maybe one other friend or you and your partner. Uh, I like the size of this little studio room and it's pretty updated. It at least looks like it's updated. It's got some nice tones, some nice colors, and I like the lighting in the room. It really adds a nice uh, comfy feel to the room. And here's a small area to make drinks and store snacks. The flat screen does have HDMI ports. This lounge area has enough space for two people to hang out. And the nightstand does have a clock with wireless charging, as well as some additional ports and outlets. The bed is comfortable, and overall I give the room a 7 out of 10. We are on the way back to meet up with my brother and my sister. This time we're gonna go over to Resorts World. We're gonna check out the Here Kitty Kitty Vice Den, get some food, gamble. Let's go. Resorts World is one of my favorite resorts on the strip. Here at the district, you can find IU Day Club, Zook Nightclub, the Mini Sphere, restaurants, and a place to make customized sneakers. You can also find Famous Foods, a food hall featuring Pepita's Kitchen, serving up authentic Filipino lechon. Now let's grab drinks at Here Kitty Kitty Vice Den, Resorts World's Hidden Speakeasy. I ordered the Invisible Ink, served with cold brew, orange, raspberry, and Calpico soda. For more things to do in Las Vegas, be sure to subscribe for part two.